Hello and um, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this beam effect around any of your images. So, let's get started. I'm just going to delete the beam layers that I created earlier and start again. So, create a new layer and call this beam 1 if you're going to have several beams. Um, then go up to your pen tool over here and select this one, this option up here. Then you might want to zoom in on the subject and then just click at the base of where your beam is going to start. And then you want to see how fat, how much distance there is going to be between two of the beams. So um, I'll choose that distance good to have it quite big for the first one and then just get then it gets shorter. So what you want to do, you want to go in between these two points here, about the middle, and just drag outwards like that. And then you want to go to the second one and drag outwards again. Make sure these two parts are lined up, otherwise you'll end up with a very odd effect. And then drag out for the final one or however many you have and then you want to go into your brush tool so um, what you want to do, you want to have a hard brush to create the best effect and I'm choosing about a 13 pixel brush for this Okay. Um, what you want to do then is go back to your PAR pen tool and right click on the PAR. Then you want to do stroke PAR and you want to make sure the brush is selected. The default will be pencil like so. But you want to select brush and I'd advise to click stimu simulate pressure but if you don't, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, but you'll see the different effects. So if you do simulate pressure, which it hasn't here because of my brush settings, which I shall show you how to change in a minute, this is what happens if you put no simulate pressure on. Now, there was something wrong with my brush tools over here. So I want to go into my brush settings, and I want to make sure that shape dynamics is clicked. Okay, then I want to go back to my pen tool and right click stroke path and again simulate pressure and there you have a nice simulated pressure um, line for a beam but it just looks white and not very beam like so double click on your beam layer and you want to go for an outer glow it will make it a little bit thicker at first because the default is a yellow colour but you can choose whatever colour you like. For instance, I'm going to choose a blue here. And just increase the spread. Uh, I put about 11% for this image. But you might want to just play around with that. And there, it looks a bit more beam-like. Maybe put the spread in a little bit less. Maybe increase the opacity. But you can mess around with these settings. Right, now that we've done that, we want to make it look like the beam is wrapping around the uh, subject. So, I'm just going to bring my brush density down. Okay, right. So this first one, I like it going in front. So this one, this one isn't going to go behind. So you might want to zoom in quite close to the arm. And then you just want to rub out up to the edge of this line like so. This will also rub off the um, glow effect so it will make it look very realistic. So you want that to go, you want it to alternate each time so I want this one to go in front, this one to go behind, this one in front and then that one's obviously disappeared. And there we have it. It's a lovely beam effect which you can put around any ob object 
and thank you for watching this tutorial on Photoshop and goodbye.